However, I do understand completely why speakers are reluctant to let go of their notes and fully embrace their audience. It's because of the nightmare. Hi, my name's Kyle Murter, and to celebrate the release of my new book, The Five Pillars of Effective Public Speaking, I'm sharing with you some of the book's tips, pretty short, punchy videos. And the topic of discussion today is notes, how to use them effectively in your presentations. Now, like I mentioned in the introduction, there's one reason why all speakers are reluctant to let go of their notes and embrace the audience. And that is the nightmare. The nightmare goes something like this. You go up to the front of the room, feeling the anticipation building as you reach the podium. And then you look out at the hundreds of people looking back at you. All of a sudden, you begin to feel the pressure of the situation. Your heart's racing and your mind goes completely blank. But you're up there without notes, with nowhere to hide. That is why people are reluctant to let go of their notes. And comment below if it's happened to you. It's happened to me. I believe it happens to every speaker at some point, going blank and having nowhere to go. So what I want to do today is show you a solution to this problem. Now this solution will make sure that you're not too tied to your notes, i.e. looking at them all the time and not making any eye contact with your audience but they'll also ensure that that nightmare doesn't occur where you're standing there blank and your notes are nowhere to be found. And I like to call this solution the 90-10 rule. It means 90% of the time you need to be looking and engaging with your audience directly, making strong and powerful eye contact with them. Now for the 10%, this is where you can glance, emphasis on glance, at your notes. Now, in order to make sure that you only glance and not look and read from your notes, I would encourage you to create short triggering bullet points. So what do these look like? Well, what it means is just one or two words which trigger an idea for you and then that allows you to continue in the flow of your presentation. I do not want you looking down at your notes and then seeing an essay. That is not going to help you when you're feeling the pressure of public speaking. For example, let's say I'm doing a presentation on the benefits of investing in property. Three of my bullet points could be passive income, location value, and clear exit strategy. That way, when I look down and see passive income, that will remind me and trigger me to speak about that topic in more detail. And that's how the 90-10 rule works. You take a glance, it reminds you what to say, and then you can continue on, which will allow you to make powerful eye contact with your audience, which is the most important thing, building that connection, trust, and rapport. If you enjoyed that tip and would like to learn more, then check out the book. I've literally poured my entire knowledge on public speaking, all of my experience, into these pages. There's lots of tips on body language, voice, how to structure a presentation, how to have an impact and to present with clarity. It's available on Amazon. Check it out if you like. But above all, thank you for listening to this video today. Subscribe if you are on YouTube or comment if you're watching on LinkedIn. And as always, I wish you the very best with your next presentation.